Anna, you are my queen. There is not a day that goes by where I'm not thinking about you. In the past six years, 11 months, and two days, you have given me plenty to reflect on. I remember all that we have gone through together. We go through life dealing with the day to day in very different ways as very different people. But together, we go through life in the strongest way possible as one. We have seen dark days, but more so, we have seen bright ones. You are the moon to my stars, the sun to my sky, and as cliche as it is, you are the yin to my yang. We have learned a lot about each other so far, but it doesn't stop there. I look forward to our future days and what I may learn from you and with you. I can't wait to build that family that we have always talked about and experience all that life throws our way. I can't wait to fall in love with you over and over again from each waking morning as I gaze upon you in your comatose state. Anna, I love you, all of you, and cannot see my life, our life, play out any other way. Yo boy, yo husband, Andrew. It's you. You're the one I want. You're the one I want to come home to after a long day at work. You're the one I want to hold my hand when I'm crying during a movie or something sad happens to a cartoon animal. Let's face it, any movie really. You're the one I want to go on weekend off-roading trips to get covered in mud, sweat, and mosquito bites. You're the one I want to laugh with until we can't breathe about something only we find funny. You're the one I want to go to the movies with and get popcorn even though we are stuffed from dinner. You're the one I want to make late night trips to UDF with to get snacky snacks. But most importantly, you're the one I want to spend forever with. All my good days, all my bad days, you're the one I want to start a family with even if we can't agree on a baby name. You're the one I want there for every little thing. It's you, you're the one. Love, your future old lady. It is one of life's richest surprises when the accidental meeting of two life paths lead them to proceed together along the common path as husband and wife. It is one of life's finest experiences when a casual relationship grows into a permanent bond of love. This meeting and this growth bring us together today. Please repeat after me. I, Andrew. I, Andrew. Take you, Anna. Take you, Anna. As my friend in love. <laughs> as my friend in love. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. <laughs> <laughs> laughter and tears. In conflict and tranquility. In conflict and tranquility. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not yet know. Trusting what I do not yet know. In all the ways that life may find us. In all the ways that life may find us. I, Anna. I, Anna. 
Take you, Andrew. Take you, Andrew. As my friend in love. As my friend in love. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and in tranquility. In conflict and in the rare tranquility. <laughs> Asking that you be no other than yourself. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not yet know. Trusting what I do not yet know. And all the ways that life may find us. All the ways that life may find us. You are mature people who have established individual patterns of living. But you have found not only a need for companionship, but the satisfaction of that need in each other's company. It is this love based upon a responsible understanding that will aid you in creating out of your two lives a marriage and a happiness you will share together. Stand fast in hope and confidence, believing in yourself and believing in each other. And as much as you two have come before your friends and family and have declared your love and devotion to each other, I now greet you with them as husband and wife. Andrew, you may now kiss the bride. Woo! So Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Sheets! I feel so privileged that Anna asked me to be her maid of honor. Uh, she is six years younger than me, so by the time she came along, I was pretty comfortable with the only child status. It wasn't until we were both young adults that we finally started to realize that we liked each other. And soon after, we made each other's list of favorite people, or at least she made mine. When Andrew came along, I could tell right away she was head over heels in love, and I was so happy for her. I live on the other side of the country though, so it wasn't until a family vacation at Dale Hollow Lake a few years ago where I really got to see how good of a match they were. It was on that lake trip when Andrew also made my list of favorite people. I'm so glad I get to call him my brother-in-law now. This is the hard part. <laughs> First, Love is always there. It's what carries you through the good times and the bad. Second, love is home. It gives you a place to return to at the end of a hard day. And finally, love is a living thing. You have to nurture it and take care of it and make it grow. The other day, Anna, she had texted me, and I don't remember about what, but I opened the text and it just, it dawned on me that for the last six or seven years, she's been saved in my phone as Anna Sheets. And I think it's because it was as clear as it is now, seven years ago, how right you two are for each other.